Hi guys, welcome back here, Kyrie Racing. So we're back at it again. Um, I did the valves and springs, blah, blah blah. So the head came back from the machine shop. I got um, so I'm gonna show you guys how it looks and the port and polish is done. I got the new valves, springs. I got the new um, O-rings for the valves. I forgot what they're called. Yeah, but let's get to that. All right, guys, the head is all done. I'll probably pull up some pictures of the port and polish, but everything is spectacular. Even up top, this side, everything is spectacular. So, now we also have the uh, things for the valves. I forgot what these are called. And here are the old valves. But we also got the new upgraded heavy-duty uh, springs for bigger cams with the seats so it won't puncture so you know you know because you can see there's a uh like a lap right there you see that yeah that's for that so all right so we have the head right here we got an intake valve all this is set from the exhaust side which is this side which it goes like that that's how they're set uh this is our exhaust side right here this is our intake side right here i uh sanded the bottom up a little bit oh there's a little piece on there oh, it's got, got kind of dirty doesn't matter the bottom what i did not touch are these right where it seals yeah you're not don't touch that so exhaust valve is going in from the bottom but first we have these uh little shim pieces or you know These will go right there. It's for the top one. And then we got for the bottom one. Boom. Fits perfect. Now, we got the uh, intake valve. We put in from the bottom of the hole. We just shove in the hole. Try to align it. There she is. Then next thing, a piece we do is we get our... Uh, it's like a gas, I forgot what it's called. A valve stem seal. This camera is really good. So we got the valve stem seal. This goes on the valve like that. And then pretty much just push down. Push. All right, she is pretty much set inside. Pretty much just, that's pretty much how you do it. And then you got the valve, uh, sorry, the springs. Put the sp put the springs on. Then after the springs, you get your um, retainer or whatever it's called. So you got all cleaned up. Now all you do is put this up top like that. And pretty much now you get your spring compressor, which I got right here. And you're going to start compressing it. And I'll get right back to you guys when we install the uh, retainers. And then after that, you have the top piece, which this looks kind of score kind of scratched. Um, I will be putting new cams. I'll be putting new cams uh, probably in a couple months. And I'm going to either, either, either way, when I get new cams, this piece, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take off the cams and those just slide in so I can... Purchase some of those when I get new am so we're good. All right, so we have it compressed right now. As you can see, she is compressed and she's holding on to the valve from the bottom, basically. So you got it compressed down, as you can see. Now we got room to put the uh, valve stems right here. So these go a uh, tiny part in first, so it seals. Screwdriver with the magnet, get that tip right there. Then the hole. Okay, after that, see that right there? Get your screwdriver. Boom! 
<clears throat> you see that? All you do is go up on this, on this lever right here, start going up, pull it out. Now just get this piece out. Check that out. All in. Pretty much no scratch on the sidewall now. Before I put these those in, I need to buy some uh, lube and, you know, lube them up. But she is pretty much it. That's that's how uh, the retainers work. Uh, I forgot something. Very, very important when building a motor. This could determine if your motor will actually last or if it won't. Because most people will just use like oil. No. I mean, it could work, but don't risk it. Buy some assembly lube. I bought some Lucas assembly lube right here. Um, yeah. You want to have some thick stuff on there because the springs at first, they can rub. You need to lube. Also, you will need to lube the, the sidewalls and stuff like that. So, get some Lucas assembly lube and put that on there. Also, for the cams. Put it on here for the camps also, where all the camps sit. Redo all that. Right here, you need to get some awesome. Everything that metal touches, put assembly lube. Then after, just put some oil on top. When you put the valve cover, mix it nice and oily. So, little tip.